you used to call me on my cell phone Late night Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you don't, just click that big X and I will catch you in the next one. The first thing that I'm doing is using a soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm applying that to both of my eyelids to prevent any eyeshadow from creasing. I can finally use Anastasia's self-made palette in a tutorial. If you do not have this palette, girlfriend, I do not know what you're doing with your life, but you need to go buy it right now. The first eyeshadow that I'm taking to set my primer in place is called Buttery, and it is a really light beige color that you can build up to make it dark. Then I am taking Sherbert, which is going to be my transition color, and I'm applying that into my crease and to my inner corners. and. Sherbert is a really light peach color. To darken things up, I am taking hot chocolate, which is a really dark brown cocoa shade, and it is really similar to Max Embark eyeshadow. To add some color to my lids, I am taking Self Made, and Self Made is a really deep bronze gold eyeshadow. Whenever you're working with a shimmery eyeshadow, you want to softly pack it onto your lid to prevent any type of fallout. Also, you can intensify any shimmery eyeshadow with Fix Plus, and that'll make the eyeshadow even more sparkly and more metallic. Once you're done with the whole entire eyeshadow process, go back in with all of your transition colors, lid colors, everything, blend it all out, and then go back in and intensify it. I'm applying a Benefits Professional on my face to prevent my foundation from cracking, creasing, leaving my face, and I look like a creep eye as I am taking the primer out of the tube. For foundation, I am using the Infallible Pro Matte from L'Oreal, and I have a love and hate relationship with this. I need to apply so much product to get to the coverage I want. Also, I am blending it all out with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is the perfect dupe for a beauty blender. Set my foundation in place, I am using the Makeup Forever Foundation Powder, which I do not remember the name of. The two concealers I'm going to be using to cover any blemishes and to highlight my face are the Maybelline Fit Me and the NYX HD. I usually apply the highlighting concealer under my eyes in a triangle shape and then on the tip of my nose, my forehead, on my chin, and the sides of my mouth. To blend that all out, I take the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Excuse the lighting over here, I have no idea what happened. To set my under eye concealer in place, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm putting that on the flat side of the sponge and I'm patting that into my skin. To add some color to my face, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I am contouring the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, my forehead, my jaw, and the sides of my nose with it. I forgot to mention, whenever I'm doing the contouring process, I usually take whatever powder I'm using and I apply it to the bottom of my lower lip to um, accentuate the shape so it can appear bigger. To highlight my face, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo and I am highlighting the highest points of my cheeks and my nose and I'm using a fan brush from Morphe for this. I used the Real Techniques Stippling Brush to blend everything that I just put on my face. To finish up my eye look, I went in with hot chocolate and I ran that under my lower lash line. I also went back in with the fluffy brush and blended out my lower lash line so it could be more smoky. <music> to 
To highlight my inner corners, I took Treasure, which is this really beautiful, gorgeous, light champagne color. And it is really similar to the Mary Illuminizer highlighter from The Balm. I also forgot to record and mention the eyelashes that I'm wearing. And they are the, they're either the Ardell Naturals or the Demi Wispies. I felt the need to intensify my lid color even more as usual, so I went back in and added the same color on top of it continuously until I got what I wanted. The mascara that I'm using is a Givenchy Neuer Couture Volume Mascara and I am loving this one. It makes your eyelashes um, really long and volumized. Also, do not forget to touch down on your lower lashes. My lip combo for this look is going to be Peach Stock from MAC and the lip liner is Subculture from MAC. I really think that everyone needs Peach Stock lipstick in their collection because these two together are a match made in heaven. To end this look, I am taming my eyebrow hairs and putting them in place with the Prolong Wear Gel from MAC.